Monday. It's an extended holiday. And um, I, I, I don't want to just kind of just make this a long stream for no reason. All right. Um, let me get everybody else online real quick. Obviously, slew to all the Rumble fam in the building. You know, that's our headquarters and where we do stream every day. Let me make sure that should be on. Let me make sure we get there. Uh, it should be on. Okay, good. So, so we're live on Rumble right now. We're live on Twitch. And in a few moments, we'll be live on Facebook and even on YouTube. All right. We're actually going to hop right into some shit, which is kind of unfolding like as we speak. So Meek Mill... He going back and forth with DJ Drama, which is kind of interesting. He deleted a few things, so I'm going to post it on my burner page. But he was tweeting up a storm. So we got to get over to the Twitter before he deletes them. And I, and I have a feeling that he might delete them. Also, um, last night when I got off stream, man, tell me, tell me who wrote this message to me. This is the first text message I get when I get off stream last night. He's like, yo. Oh, so for real act, that's how you feel? You really think I'm pussy? <laughs> who you think who you think hit me with that? Um, we'll talk about it in a second. Let me see if I can post this shit. This was the shit that kind of like kicked it off. And then I think the rest is on um Okay. So I just post it on the burner. <laughs> nah, 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 it wasn't YB It was actually Whack 100 <laughs> I think he watched where, where we were talking about him and Doughboy And I think I said, yo, Whack Whack got 500 fade scheduled But he ain't catch one yet, you know what I mean? And it wasn't really meant to say that Whack scared to catch a fade Is that, bro, I think Whack put people in a position where Like, nobody... No sane individual would like Wack is saying an address where he lives. We're well, not where he lives at. I've been there, nigga. There was Crips, Bloods, Cripping Bloods. Like nigga, it was all type of shit in there, nigga. It was like gang banging central, nigga. Niggas rolling dice in the corner. It felt like you was on a Snoop Dogg tour bus. Just a heavy mist of just weed, nigga. It felt like Cali in the nineties, my nigga. Okay, niggas actually had the colors on. Like at least on the East Coast. These gangbangers don't really wear colors. Like, yo, yo, you go up in there, like, niggas is walking all, like, niggas even walk like 90s gangsters. So, I don't know where Wack got them cast of characters from, but I understand why if I had an issue with Wack and he keep dropping this one address, I'm not going there, okay? I'm not going over there, okay? So, uh, I don't know if Wack will meet niggas at a neutral location, but I guess what he was saying is that, yo, yo, act like, I'll meet these niggas at a neutral location. Anyway... He, he gave me a day and time, and I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, and I don't know if we should get to it now rather than later, but it, it kind of matched up with the narrative like um, of what was going on. Actually, I guess I'll touch on it now. So the whole future and whack thing, right? I get to find out this happened 10 years ago. Yes, 10 years ago, right? Um... Now, here's the thing. Remember, I've even given my recount to the story. And, and, and you know, obviously, Wack has told me, like, yo, you, you want me to get Birdman on the phone? Because Birdman's the other guy in, in, in the situation. Apparently, here's the funny part about it. Apparently, this is the real story, supposedly. Future got booked. And I guess back then, this remember, this is 10 years ago. This is like 2013, right? 2013, 2012. That's when he's with Sierra. Remember, he even did the song for Sierra? Apparently, right? Um, future get booked by like Trick Trick to do a show or a walkthrough or something for twenty thousand dollars. They sent him the ten thousand dollars. He never showed up. So basically, he has the ten thousand dollars for Trick Trick. Now, Trick Trick, I guess back then they were doing this whole like real, like no fly zone and all this shit, fly shit going on. So every gangster from every city was like linking up, and I guess they put the word out like, "Yo, Future owes us ten grand. He ain't good right now." Right. And apparently um, Future, who was it was like uh, and, uh, it was a BT All Star weekend or no, BT Awards weekend like that year. They went to L.A. and apparently the Rolling 60s was on Future's head. Now, again, th that supposedly happened where they supposedly was trying to put hands on Future in a club. Um, 
uh, uh, remember, this is all over $10,000. They were trying to beat Future up in the club. They said Future Security took the beats for Future. Future slipped out the back door. Um, then when Future's finally leaving LA, that's when he runs into Wack. Now, after hearing all that shit, and he gave me a little bit more details, I'm gonna be honest with you. I hit the Googles yesterday. Future, and I'm gonna I'll type it in with y'all. Future rolling 60s. BT Awards, I don't know, um, Ciara. Let's just type that in. Look, I'm typing in the Google search. I ain't making this up. This is why I kind of believe Wack a little bit, but whatever. Look, if you type it in, there's there's a popular forum, because I think the original website is gone. There's a popular forum called Boxed In, okay? Um, and by the way, I have lurked on Boxed In, but Boxed In, could y'all niggas over there stop taking credit for like me being over there? I used to post on the Kali or the Coliseum, okay? Then I, uh, before then, I used to post on SOHH. Before then, it was all hip hop, okay? I was part of the IC community. I've never posted on boxing, day in my life. But I do read y'all threads from time to time. I, I kid you not. Anyway, um, look, so on, on the website, which is a forum right now, look, 10 years ago, look, Future and Sierra attacked by the Rolling 60s at an LA nightclub. Sierra and her boyfriend Future didn't get a chance to celebrate her sexy show-stopping performance at a BT Awards Sunday night. While the couple partied at West Hollywood Greystone Manor, a group of gang members allegedly tried to attack Future over an unpaid debt. Future, whose real name is Nevadius Cash, allegedly skipped out of the club performance he already been paid for. His bodyguard stepped in before the gang members were able to get a hold of him. But a member of Future's security team was badly injured. Sierra and Future rushed out the side door while the bodyguard was rushing was rushed to the hospital. He's in stable condition. They shut down because of the incident. Now, this there used to be like a little gossip blog, kind of like called Tattletales. So Tattletales reports that word on the street, Future Security Roscoe was attacked by LA-based gang rolling 60s for debt Future owes. It appears they were trying to get Future, but attacked his security guard, according to the source. He owes rolling 60s money. Well, apparently it wasn't rolling 60s. This was... Trick Trick, is Trick Trick Rolling 60s? I don't think so, right? But, but, but the Rolling 60s, which I would like throw niggas names, but, you know, Rolling 60s was pretty much like debt. Co <laughs> this is called debt collection in the streets. Um, In the nightclub, security got Future and Sierra out before the 60s reached to him. But we're told that the security got hospitalized, blah, blah, blah. So I'm guessing this is all before Future was leaving LA with Sierra and he runs into whack. So I'm not, so again, I know a lot of y'all be like, yo, this is completely cap. But it actually seemed like there was a time that Future owed some gang members money and they were on his head. Again, I'm not sitting here because I wasn't there to say this 100% happened. But again, <laughs> number one, Wack tells stories funny. So, you know what I mean? I don't even care if it was true or not. But it does line up with some factual shit. Okay? At the time. At the time, so I said, "What's going on with my hair, bro? I'm about to get it braided again. I'm about to get it braided. Uh, I'm about to get it braided before my um, I, I'm I'm doing my podcast live at um, in Philly at Roots Picnic. So I'm about to get it braided in. So my bad. I got like a huge afro. Like y'all only see the hat. I have a huge afro like here. Y'all just haven't seen it yet. I literally put the hat over the afro. Anyway, all right, all right, all right. So." So I got that call from Wack last night, and then he explained everything to me, and then I Googled it. And I was like, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe you're actually telling the truth. Whatever. Okay, cool. Then he then then he insisted to tell me, says Ack, any of these niggas that want the fade, I'm down to get the fade with them. He's like, he said he's been itching for a fade. So we'll see. Anyway, let's get to the, the meat mill stuff because I, I want him to delete this, this stuff too quickly. I think I just posted on my burner page. If you don't know, this is my burner page, kind of, at least for stream. 